Hey hello guys my name is Ruben and today I'm going to help you solve the issue that your computer or laptop won't recognize your USB. Now it can be a USB with important files or simply a device connected to a USB. Um, I'm going to show you five easy methods on how to solve this issue. So make sure to stick around till the end so you don't miss any important information. Now the first step is to actually check your USB go to all the ports in your laptop and your computer and check if it still works. Now, if there's a port that doesn't work, then the other ports will work. Now try also a different device so your USB isn't faulty. Now from there, we're going inside our computer or laptop. And from there, we're going to start with method one. Now the first step we want to take is go to the search bar and type in control panel. Now this will open up the control panel and from here we go to the system and security settings. Inside the system security we're going to the power options and from there we head down to change the computer sleeps. Now from here we open up the change advanced power settings and this window will open up. Now from out here we're looking for the USB settings. Now inside the USB settings we have the USB selective suspend setting. Now make sure that this has been disabled. So simply press disable. From there, plus apply and go to OK. Now that's method one, we're going to method two. Now for the second method, we're going inside our Windows File Explorer. So simply open up the Windows File Explorer, as you can see right here. And from there, we want to scroll all the way down till we find this PC. Inside this PC, we want to go to the local disk and from there, open up the Windows folder. Now from out the Windows folder, we're looking for the INV, INF, and as you can see right here, it's the folder. And here we're looking for the second option, which is the WPDMT file. And as you can see here, this is the one we're looking for. Now I have dot INF behind it. You probably don't have it. So simply right click it head down to install and install this device. Simply press yes. Now what this will do, it will install a, uh, yeah, a setup which recognizes your USB drives. Now, if this still didn't fix your issue, uh, make sure to restart your laptop or PC from out this step to check if your USB still works. Now, from there we go to step three. Now for the third method, we're going inside our disk management. So simply open up the search bar and type in disk management. Management. Now here we're opening up the disk management. And as you can see, this window opens up. Now from here, select the USB drive. Now I'm going to uh, show you with my C drive. So simply right click it and we're going to change the letter of our drive. So for you, the USB port. From here, change drive and letter and paths from here select the drive you want to change and press change now from here we can select the letter now change this to a random letter let's say the p and from here press ok now some programs that rely on this drive letters may not run correctly do you want to continue press yes now the parameter is incorrect uh, because this is my hard drive and from there i can't change that but for you, because you have a USB drive, it will work. Now for the fourth method, we're going to update the USB drivers. So simply open up the search bar and type in devices. Now here we open up the device manager. And as you can see here, we have all the devices. Now from here, we choose the last option. That is the universal serial bus controller. Simply open this up and look for the uh, Intel USB 3.2 extensibility host controller. Now here, simply right click it and update the driver. Now here we can search automatically for drivers. And from there, if this still didn't fix your issue, right click it, update again, and browse my computer for drivers. Now from here, press next. And as you can see, the best drivers for your device are already installed. Now let's say uh, this still didn't fix the issue. Try this with all the different USB options. And from there, restart your PC to check if this fixes your issue. Because sometimes if the drivers are out of date, 
uh, your USB won't be recognized anymore. Now for the last method, I have a final option for you. So go to the search bar, go again to the device manager. And from here, what we want to do is we want to go to the universal bus controllers, open it up and go to the Intel USB 3.20 extensible host controller, right click it and uninstall the device because sometimes your main USB port isn't fully connected. And when you uh, uninstall the device and restart your PC, what will happen is it will automatically be up to date with the latest software and it will have no errors. Now, if this still did not fix the issue, you can try this with all the other USB ports as well, as you can see right here, and from there, restart your PC. It's very important that you try and restart your PC because Windows will actually fix issues when you, uh, yes, uh, change certain settings because Windows recognizes that there has been changes and will automatically, uh, yeah, try to fix the other errors that that creates. Now, if you still get any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. I would highly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching.